Hello, and welcome to this edition of Reston Today. I'm Andy Siegel, your host. In today's segment, it takes a lot of people to bring the Reston Station parking deck to life. We'll find out who's under some of those hard hats. Have you ever thought about riding your bike to work and what the health benefits could be? Well, this month we had a chance to discuss these ideas with local orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Thomas Fleeter. And in this same spirit, as spring nears, so does the annual 5K run through Reston's beautiful pathways. Find out how you can be a part of this wonderful event. Please, stay with us. The largest single construction project this side of the Mississippi takes a lot of people to build. Hundreds of workers converge on Comstock Partners' rest and station site every day. Today, we'll go behind the walls to learn a little bit more about what they do. Hi, I'm Dave Message, Senior Superintendent for Davis Construction here at Wheelie Avenue. We're building a metro parking facility for Fairfax County and Comstock Partners, getting ready for the arrival of the Silver Line next year. You can see we're making great progress on the seven-level underground parking garage. We have about 250 to 300 tradesmen on site each day. The keys to successful construction is major engineering and architectural project. Of course, the concrete folks are placing hundreds of yards of concrete each day. That could be 2.8 million pounds of concrete. In addition to the thousands of pounds of rebar, are placed within the, that concrete. They build the columns, the floors, and the ramps. The electricians connect all the lighting throughout the garage and lay in all the conduit that will be needed for security, lighting, ventilation, and other power needed to operate the garage once it's open. The plumbers are here placing all the drains throughout the 1.5 million square foot building. After each floor of concrete is poured, in come the sprinkler fitters hanging the fire protection for the transit center. We have a team of expert welders who are responsible for welding the super columns, massive pieces of steel which help support the structure above. The steel we're talking about can weigh as much as 650 pounds a foot. Moving all these parts around on the job are our outstanding operating engineers, the men running our four cranes on site. They work all day long hauling, lifting and delivering rebar, piping and steel. You name it, it's around the site. And remember, we're still hauling dirt out of this big hole. Our excavators have been working since April, and they exported over 500,000 cubic yards of dirt. Thanks for checking on our progress. Please stay tuned. Bicycling helps build stronger communities while also providing health benefits for individuals. To better understand these, we visited with local orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Thomas Fleeter. Hi, I'm Tom Fleeter, and I'm a orthopedic surgeon in practice in Reston, and I'm one of the founding members and past president of the medical staff at Reston Hospital. And I'm here today to talk to you about the virtues and the benefits of a bicycling as part of a healthy lifestyle. It's no secret to those of us who live in the Washington metropolitan area that traffic is a huge problem around here. I can tell you personally, you never see somebody on the toll road or on Interstate 66 stuck in traffic smiling at the next driver. But once you hop on your bike and take advantage of the multiple bike paths in our community and in our county and our neighborhood, all of a sudden you meet people that you never thought you'd meet. You stop and chat with them along the way. You see things on a bicycle that you never see in a car. I've been an avid cyclist my whole life, and I believe strongly in the fact that a healthy lifestyle contributes to an overall sense of well-being, and cycling certainly contributes to this. So I bike sometimes as much as 100 miles a week to help stay in shape, but I tell my patients as a sports medicine practitioner or orthopedic surgeon that biking or cycling or exercising 30 minutes three times a week builds muscle strength, it builds stamina, it helps your heart, it helps keep your weight down, and it helps coordination. And I think it contributes to an overall positive sense of well-being. So I encourage you both as an avid member of the rest and cycling community as an orthopedic surgeon to take advantage of the upcoming Bike to Work Day. Now, Reston's beautiful pathways not only help commuters pedal their way to work, they also serve as the backdrop to Reston's own annual 5K fund run. Here's Larry Butler with more details. The Friends of Reston and Reston Association invite you to participate in the 9th Annual Nature House 5K Fund Run and Walk on Saturday, April 21st at 8 a.m. here at the Walker Nature Center on Glade Drive. The rolling course goes through neighborhoods and the Glade Stream Valley Park, and after the event there will be refreshments and random prize drawings here at the Nature Center. Please register online and we hope to see you on the 21st. I'm Andy Siegel. Thanks for taking the time to join us for this edition of Reston Today.